Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Lotro with me Valfellian. So today we are carrying on with the epic quest, book 5, chapter 4, um, where we're doing the uh, the first battle of the Fords of Eisen. Now if you remember last time uh, we went with Feardred up to Isengard um, to basically hope to kind of keep their, their armies inside their walls um, so they couldn't threaten Rohan. Um, but Feardred underestimated just how big Saruman's army was. Um, so we got pushed back by their, their main forces. Um, so me and Grimbold and some guys were, were trying to like hold back the main forces while Feardred and his army uh, retreated back to their camp at the fords. Um, where they could rally up with the, the remaining men that were defending the fords. But a second force from Isengard had encircled the fords from the eastern side. Um, and Feardred was uh, left kind of like stuck on the island in uh, the middle of the river here. Um, surrounded it on all sides. Um, so uh, we've got the, I think it's the very last chapter now, um, where we're having to ride to Fairdred's aid before uh, the worst happens. Um, and I think that's the last bit of this uh, this day's worth of battles. So, you study the maps placed on the table and consider Fairdred's plan. When the sun sets on the 25th of February, Fairdred expects to return to the ford with newfound confidence in his defences. Perhaps it will be so. <laughs> Whoops. Um, and as usual, it is a solo quest, so you need to ditch group. The prince was trapped in the middle of the river Iten. We had to fight through the line of Rooks to reach him. So, death to the forces of Saruman. Death to them all. Quickly, Pendulous. We must get to the water's edge and see what has happened to the prince. Pendulous, fight only those who get in our way. We must get to the water. So surely we should we should be clearing a proper wave to the front lest we get encircled ourselves and that would be absolute disaster. Plus we could also potentially save some of our Rohirrim friends here and get them to help us on the attack. Rohirrim! Fight on! Fight on! We must save the prince! Do not give up! So we've got a massive group of uh, all these orcs here. So murder our wave to the front. Last group's going to come join us. And this is rather nice on champion, just been able to uh, mow them down. Come on, Grimbold, we need to go. You think you can keep me from my prince? You are a fool to try. So we've got a leader guy, shank him. There we go. Speak to Grimbold. There is no time, Pendulous. Prince Feardred is beset on all sides. We have to cross the river and break through the ring that surrounds him. Look, Feardred is hard pressed on all sides. But still he fights. Oh no, the prince has fallen! Someone fights on, keeping the Uruks at bay. It's Kinston, the prince's esquire! Get back! You will not touch him! Come on. Right to Kinston's aid. Oh no, Kinston's been murdered. Kinston, no! Well, well, well. There is a face I've seen before. It's our old buddy Morflack. <clears throat> oh, we have to talk to him. Pendulous. I thought we would not meet again. The old man was not pleased to lose you as his guest, as he was very cross with Morflack. But in his wisdom he sent me forth to gain his forgiveness, and with a simple mission. All I needed to do was kill the horse lord prince. I have done this, and more beside. And now you was, I will settle my score with you. No Morflack, you shall die once and for all. With my enhanced champion DPS, given that we've been buffed at lower levels um, in the last update, so enjoy my tasty, tasty DPS, good sir. So, murder mowers him. Enough! Gather to me, boys! Finish this maggot once and for all! Prince Ferdred, be strong! Warflak's attention is drawn to the eastern bank of the ford, but before you can take advantage of his inattention, you are yourself rooted to the spot with wonder. A line of riders has come from Rohan, and the courage of the Uruks melts away as the Rohirrim prepare to charge. And yet, as the sun set and our hopes with it, the sound of a horn signalled the arrival of a new force on the far side of the river. Elfhelm riding hard from Helm's Deep, with many riders at his call, the Uruks retreated before him, and the day was saved. But much was lost that could not be regained. So 
So there we go, completed the battle. Um, so now we've just got the after effects of the battle in the, uh, the night time session. You study the maps placed on the table and consider Phaedra's plan. This is indeed a daring move and the prince expects it to renew Saruman's caution. By nightfall, who knows what the situation may be. It could be that night will bring with it renewed hope for Rohan. There are other possibilities as well, but they are darker and more grim. Um, we had one of those endings uh, come to pass. Night fell on the 25th of February as my prince prepared for one last journey. A journey to lands we know not. You are pendulous. Grimbold spoke to me of you. He says you fought bravely today. Elfhelm looks across the waters of the Eisen into the distance. Many men fought bravely today. For many a man, this was his last battle. I rode hard from Helm's Deep when Saruman's forces were spotted. Would that we got here sooner. Grimbold is with the prince. You should go to him. So onwards we go. So there's a couple of spiked Uruks here. Some uh, Rohirrim dead over there as well. Pendulous. Prince Ferdred's wounds are grievous, Pendulous. He does not have much time left. I have given him a bedroll and tried to make him as comfortable as I can, but he shakes his head, a haunted look in his eye. I am a veteran of many wars, Pendulous, and I have seen death in all its forms. But to see Fared in King's Air like this, more than my prince will die tonight. I fear Rohan dies with him. Mm. Mm -mm. Grimbold, my friend. My prince, I'm here. Is the ford... Is it... We still hold the, the, hold the ford, my prince. The Uruks have retreated to Isengard. Good. We need... need to keep. We will hold the fort. Saruman cannot break us, Prince Feardred. Elfhelm, I thought I saw your shield. You did, my prince. I rode down the great orc that gave you that wound. His courage deserted him, and I planted my spear in his back. That might be the Uruk we actually saw behind us. Courage. Kinston, where is... You need your rest, my prince. We will speak of Kinston another time. We're going to spare him the news. <laughs> oh no, he just doesn't want to uh, be treated like a child. Grimbold. I am not a child. Kinston fell defending you from the orcs, my prince. He was very brave. Pendulous. I want you to know. Ferdred coughs weakly. He is clearly near the end of his strength. My father cannot stand alone. His eyes close for a moment, but he keeps speaking. My father, the king. He needs allies, if Rohan is to survive. He will have them. All of us will aid Fared and King. Aye, we are sworn to the King. We will stand by him. You will be with him, my prince. We will bring you to Edoras. No. Leave me here. I will keep the ford. Prince Feardred is dead. We will bury him here, as was his wish, alongside his men. They will not return to Rohan, but will keep the ford alongside their prince until the end of all days. I am ready for this day to be done, Pendulous. I know it is the same with you. So alas, Prince Feardred is dead. He has fallen into battle, leaving the king with no heirs. So um, for those of you wondering, in the books he was indeed 
buried at the fords. Um, obviously, in the uh, the films to kind of simplify things a bit, he was taken back to Edoras, and if you watch the extended editions, you kind of see him getting discovered at the ford before he gets shipped back to Edoras as well. Um, where it's kind of implied literally everyone died, which is not quite true, um, because they managed to hold the fords on, at the first battle, because. Um, Eventually, there will be a second uh, battle of the Fords of Eisen, and that's when Saruman does manage to to cross into Rohan. Um, for those of you who know, you know, kind of the basic plotline of the Two Towers, the second part of uh, the Lord of the Rings, then you kind of know what, what happens there um, and how that ends and where that ends, um, which is not too far down the road from us right now. So, if we speak to Grimbald, then this was no accident, Pendulous. Saruman sought to slay our prince, and he succeeded. With that accomplished, he is content to have his forces retreat. This is a hollow victory. We hold the ford, but the loss of Feodred is too much for Rohan to bear. We have lost much this day, but we cannot despair. We must not. We must hold this crossing, or die. Saruman accomplished what he wished this day, but there will come another day when it is not. Uh, when it does... Ah, and when it does... He will seek to cross the Aizen and move into Rohan. My men and I will stand against him, and if you will stand with us, we may stand the longer. These dark days grew darker still. Rest now while you can, Pendulous. So from all this, we can have either an IXP rune, 83,700, or one of these uh, legendary item titles. So we've got blaring, damage type, and parry, which will go on your primary weapon. We have a tactical mitigation modifier and block, which will go on a class item. And then we have Tactical Mitigation, Modifier, and Evade, which also goes on a class item. So I'm just going to take the IXP because I don't need that. Um, and you got a fair chunk of reputation from that as well, 1,200. So if you've got Rep that's 2,400, which is very nice and helps you get towards Kindred. There we go. Ding. So what have we got next? So Book 6, Chapter 1. So Book 6 is basically the Great River part of the epic storyline. Um... Although it does start here, it will then take us over to the Great River, um, which is all the way on the other side of Rohan. Um, so we are we're basically finishing up in, in Dundon and Nankunia, right down in the bottom corner of this map. Um, so there we go, we can see it on this side of it a little bit better as well. Um, but then we're going to go basically take the long way around and end up back at Lothlorien and then come down the Great River into uh, Path of Celebrant and all, all those kind of areas. Um, but we're not going to pick up this epic book just yet. Um, we will park this for now, and we'll wait until we start doing the Great River region um, with a Lord Master, and he will do book six for us. Um, so we can ignore that for now, and then we just have to do the remaining landscape quests um, that are part of the expansion. So we've got one place left to go, and that is to go all the way around into uh, Nan Kurunir, the Valley of Saruman. Kurunir being uh, another name for Saruman and Nan being uh, the word for valley. Um, that's why you get like Nan Tornirth. Um, that's probably the only one I can remember off the top of my head elsewhere in the game. Um, but yeah, so we have to ride northwards along here, uh, follow the road, uh, go past the Pit of Iron, we're not actually going in the Pit of Iron, up the road, and we'll end up inside the valley. So I'll just cut away for a second, and I'll meet you guys when we get a bit closer. Okay, so we're now into Nan Kurunir then, and as we can see, we've got the big map here. We've got uh, Isengard at the very top, the big Tower of Orphank, taking up most of that. Um, where we can actually have a look inside uh, the walls itself, if we need to get a bit closer later on. Um, but the valley is kind of pretty much devastated. Saruman's chopped down all the trees, obviously to make... Uh, wood for his various war machines and other kind of industrial efforts. Um, but we have a large camp on the western side, over there. We have obviously another big camp on the eastern side over here. Um, we have uh, a special ox can camp on the eastern side. Now that we don't really have any quests with. That will come into play theoretically once you're level 75. I know I've been 75 for a while. Um, but that's for the, for the instance cluster that area. So we don't have to worry too much about that. Um, and there are um, obviously ways to get into um, Fangorn as well. Um, although that comes much, much later when we come back to Isengard. Um, spoilers. So, um, we have to approach this camp here. This is where the Stable Master is. This is Dagoras' camp. So, no surprise 
who our friend at Nidankune is going to be. Oh look, it's Daggerus. Hello sir. Long time no see. I should probably tag the stable master while we're here. Welcome my friend. Um, so yeah, you can swift to, to either Grimbold's camp or Galtrev. Um, or do the slow travels if needed. So, Mr. Daggerus sir. Well met again, Pendulous, and I wonder it is to see you. What a wonder it is to see you here after so long a road. Alas, many of my kinsmen have not made it this far. I have not heard from Bragiar since his start into the Gravenwood, and young Amarion failed to return from scouting shortly thereafter. I know not their fates. Yet I dare not dwell on such matters, though this journey has left me all but empty, for I have yet to complete my task. We find ourselves now before Nan Curinir, and beyond in the Tower of Orphanx sits Saruman the traitor. Looking across the destruction wrought in this vale, it seems clear now that his wisdom has faded to be replaced by madness. You should make yourself familiar with the land, my friend, for if we are to find our way to Isengard, we must learn its lay ere we are discovered. So we have to do some scouting for him. He also has a second quest. We stand here on the edge of the Vale of Nankurnir, at the north end of which lies the stronghold of Isengard. Saruman's schemes hatch from here, and he guards it jealously. Nearby you will find the Pillar of the Hand. Around it are arrayed a number of sentries, strange and unpleasant. I think they may be more or less queer. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll give myself the giggles now. I think there may, may be more of these queer half orcs we have been seeing of late. They stand watch over the road leading into the Vale. Um, if we are unable to untangle Saruman's plots unhindered, we would need to weaken their guard. Oh dear, I've misread that quite humorously. Uh, so we need to defeat right-hand sentries, north of eight. And no one else is here, so we don't have any other quests. So, we need to go to the first patrol point, which is due north of us, in the middle of some trees. And we need to keep an eye out for any sentries we see on the way, because if we see them, we might as well kill them. Now, I think it explicitly has to be a mob called White Hand Sentry, but we will see as we uh, wander through. Obviously, there's going to be quite a few mobs. Uh, it can get a bit busy as well, because there's lots of obstacles. Um, floating names on might help. There we go, there's a Half Orc Sentry. Does that count? He's got Sentry in his name. It seems legit. Which I'm murdering. Oh, there we go. These guys have got the pitchfork flippy uppy thing. So this is what I was saying. When, if you remember way back when we started... Uh, oh, he's got the bloody buff on to heal himself every time I do an attack. Right, you stay there then. When we very first uh, came to Dunland, and we came into Trum Dreng, and there's this camp over here, the White Hand Outpost over here in Trum Dreng. And I was saying to you, these orcs kind of like flick you up in the air like a Robot Wars flipper robot. Um... But they weren't doing it for some reason. But obviously these orcs in the, the latter part of the expansion still do. Um, so what are we looking for? No one there. There's another one. We shall kill him. There should be a fair few of these around the region. Um, if someone else is questing in this area at the same time as you. They might also be killing some of these mobs. Um, but hopefully you shouldn't have to wait too long for a respawn. So we'll murder him. Now how close are we to the patrol point? It's slightly northeast. Um, so probably over by this rock. And I think we're going to find something on the floor. Or am I thinking of a later quest? Probably I am. Um, so we've scattered the first patrol point. Obviously there's nothing of interest here. So now we need to go due west. I'm sure there's meant to be something here though. Can I press delete? Ah, let's kill this guy. Um, boing. Come on, die quicker, sir. There we go. Right, can I press delete to target any objects that are nearby? Maybe I'm thinking of either a later quest or a later point on this patrol. Go away, Wargrader. Wargrader! Don't say walk. So we're going west now into this valley over in the distance. Not into that cave, that is something that will be relevant to later questing. Um. Another sentry. We'll grab him, pull him along a bit because there might be another one around here. There's a warrior, a couple of cannonard scar deposits. So we have discovered the Fang Riders Warren. Um, as usual, there is obviously going to be various bits of exploration we need to do. 
Um, but I guess I must already have an exploration deed open for this because uh, we haven't popped it up. I think it's because I've already discovered the the pillar of the white hand during the uh, the battle instances. Um, so area door, um, Dundon. Exploring then Kurinir. So the gates of Isengard, obviously, is literally the gates of Isengard. Uh, we did that when we did um, the prisoner section, I think that triggered actually. Uh, the Pillar of the White Hand is obviously just opposite Digress's camp, that big pillar we saw during the battles. The Fang Riders Warren, we've literally just discovered over here on the west. Digress's camp is obviously where the Stable Master is. Uh, so we've got two more things. We've got the Black March Fort, which I believe is this one in the southeast. Um, Okay, the Fang Riders Warren is the entire north uh, western camp, so. Okay, uh, and Quick, Quick Beams Grove is uh, over here on the eastern side. Um, so if you can, if you can guess uh, what type of creature Quick Beam is, you can probably guess. Uh, you know, is that the first time we meet such a creature? It might well be. Um, so we'll murder him. Um, that's just a normal warrior. Oh, there's a half orc sentry over here as well. Oi! I wanted to go run over to this guy, and he kind of helped me in my way. Uh, now, this one's going to probably chuck me in the air. And they're going to start playing keepy uppy with an elf. Um, there we go. Murder, murder, murder. Alright, let's mount up. And head along. And over here, there we go. So this one's got something we can interact with. So we have a fallen Rohirrim on the floor. Uh, the body of a fallen Rohirrim soldier lies here, recently slain in battle. Grimbold has ordered that none of his warriors should enter Nankurinir, so it is something of a mystery how this poor fellow came to his fate here. There is no way you can return the fallen warrior's body to Grimbold's encampment, but if you could gather his effects, you have no doubt that they would be much appreciated. Unfortunately, they seem to have been scattered about in the chaos of whatever pursuit claimed his life. Right, so this is the quest I'm expecting to then go to various points and find the items. Um, which might also be back at the first point. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably getting on uh, a bit long for this episode. So before we go though, I will just say one thing. Um, if you haven't already used this week's coupon codes, um, go into your Lotro store. Um, when it loads up, click on redeem code. So this week's code, which is valid until October the 25th, is gold die, like so. Click that, click apply, you'll have a free gold die in your inventory. I've been ganked, that's not very really nice. Um, and as part of like, the, the celebrations for update 23, I'm not entirely sure when this coupon code expires, but it's probably good through at least part of November. If you use the code start mining, like so, uh, you'll get this uh, dwarven mining cap. It's like a, a mining foreman's helmet with a little uh, light on top of it. Like a little candle um, thing that you can use to see your way around the mines of Moria or some such. Um, so yeah, make sure you use those coupon codes before they expire to get your free stuff. Um, <laughs> I will murder this guy. And until next time, I will see you guys later.